Greetings and salutations, folks. Uh, welcome to the la final confrontation, the last level of Turok. Hopefully I did not screw myself over because I had forgotten to save my game before entering this area. I didn't realize that the act of stepping onto the platform where you're supposed to put in the keys would cause it to automatically drop, which would cause you to automatically enter the next level. Um, for some reason, I had thought it was going to be different. Um, hopefully, I don't have to play through old content again. So I will try... Not to suck, but actually, hold on. I see some dinos with guns. So I'm going to deal with these guys from the safety of here. Alright, now... Oh, hello. I don't think I really need to deal with all of them. Especially since I don't actually have to unlock any... Oh my gosh, that is a lot of turrets. That is... You know, if I'm ignoring things, that's probably going to be more problematic. Oh, hello. Let's, um... Get rid of you, sir. Oh. And get rid of you. All right. Overall a success? <laughs> I always find it interesting how the music just... jarringly changes. Also... This game was not built to handle this geometry. Hmm. Interesting. So there's a path going up. And then there's... Oh. Are these robots who are chasing me? Alright, I'm going to take a quick trip up here. Oh, hello. Unfortunately, that took a lot of hits, but I got six health back, so that's great. All right, I think I'm going to run out of these bullets pretty rapidly. But then again, I'm probably not going to be using bullets on the final boss. I'm probably going to... Wow. That, uh, whatever he's shooting shoots a lot more rapidly than my... Oh, hello. Okay, actually, let's jump in here. Now, are there any bad guys I have to worry about in this section? Or is this... Like, it's kind of interesting how bad guys have actually more or less infiltrated the... Uh, the bonus areas. Like, they used to be safe realms, and then they started being filled with traps. And then... They started being filled with bad guys. But I haven't really used too many bullets... Though, if any of these to have an ultra health, that would definitely be useful at this point. I did use some rockets to take care of those robots on the outside. But yeah, like trying to stick around and fighting against all of those turrets, aside from taking a while to do, would probably not be worth the effort.
Yeah, an ultra health. I will grab it. All right, I'll switch to the, uh, actually, hold on. Did I grab all the clips? No, I did not. I'll grab the other clips. Try to use the bullets because those are not going to be Yeah, it's a lot easier to dodge when you're already moving. Wow, this guy is... That's not worth it. Oh, hello. Um... What else have we got in this area? We've got more robots. I think I fired at where I thought that guy might be. Rather than where he was. Okay, and I probably should also be using energy weapons because these guys are all dropping a pretty decent amount of it. And thank goodness is Oh my gosh, hello. Is this a decorative explosion? Oh, hello. Was it just a secret? Like a hole in the wall? Also? Ultra health. At the very least, this place is... kind enough to provide. Should I say. It is a providing area. And yeesh, that takes a lot of hits. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, is this, uh, this is armor. Excellent. So even though there's pretty much nothing back here, I can at least grab the armor. Also, I probably sh should be using explosive shells too because this area is dropping a lot of them. Um, and also this place seems... Okay. This place is de feels a lot more crowded than it should be. Yeah, there's a checkpoint at least. But there's also rockets, so I'm going to actually... Let's check out this bonus area, which is the alternate bonus area for this section. Um, at the very least, these sections in this final area, uh, don't seem- oh no. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Ah, that's what that noise was. I was wondering what that was. Uh, do don't seem to have, um, bad guys in them. Because that would be definitely kind of a, a... Damn it, I wasn't sure where I was supposed to jump next. Uh, that would definitely make this a lot more troublesome. Especially uh, since the main areas um, are filled to the brim with goons. So I think I'm supposed to actually turn right.
But I'm going to leave this Ultra Health here uh, in case I find uh, another portal because I think my health is good enough. Oh, I was going to say, what on earth is hitting me? Well, I think I'm ready to go for that ultra health. <laughs> um, let's pick up some of these rockets. Let's hit this checkpoint. Well, maybe not this checkpoint right here. Let's swing around, hit this guy, and then hit the checkpoint. There we go. Oh, hello. How kind of you helped to uh, provide in my time of need. But where do I go next? Now, nah, over here. There we go. I definitely hope there is a save point uh, down yonder. Because I would definitely like to be able to approach um, uh, the campaigner not just with uh, as much health as possible, but also with as much ammo as possible. Um, and if I lose my backpack, that is definitely not going to be a good thing. Huh. Interesting. I would have expected to be able to jump into there, but... Okay, let's switch to the rockets. There we go. You know, you can't really carry that many rockets, but... Um... Like, every pickup gives you four, so... Which makes me think they accidentally did the pickups wrong. Since you fire four rockets each time, you're not actually picking up four rockets, you're picking up like 16 rockets. For your quad rocket launcher. Oh, it's some health over here. And some health over here. You know you're in a technological facility when all you hear is vague computer noises in the backgrounds. Like beeps and bloops. But it's still, it definitely makes uh, for an interesting transition uh, for this game. Especially after uh, spending so much time in the jungle. Are you still alive? No, you're not. There we go. Have the weaker enemy second and the stronger enemy first. There we go. And since he's dropping energy cells... Okay, this is a... Just a hallway. Did... Did they run out of ideas at the end here? Ah, save point! Right in front of a bad guy. 
All right, let's save our game. Uh, see what's next. Is it the final boss? I don't know. I've never beaten this game. Till maybe now. Let's let's see if I can do that. For some reason, I expected there to be another boss before the campaigner. Hmm. Not that I'm complaining, because that means that I'm going to have to deal with more challenging bad guys. And I am ready to move on. Oh, hello. Ah, these guys. In the middle of this... Hmm. Of this facility. Oh, hello. Okay. So those are load-bearing bad guys because I presume once I defeat them, uh, the door will open. Oh. There we go. That'll open the door. Also, I don't want to waste this tech arrow. That's the main reason why I haven't just shot it off. Uh, oh, hello. The door is open. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky devil. Ah, damn it. Can I jump all the way there? Yes, I can. Damn it. Damn it. Why can I not make this jump? There we go. And I will definitely be needing that portal to show up to offer me the salvation that is the ultra health that I had saved for later. Although, hold on, that's a tech... Uh, that's a tech armor. Always useful around these parts. Take that! Oh. Um. There we go. Of course. Of course there are tiny, tiny platforms on top of lava, on top of m molten hot magma. Because truly, the legacy of Turok Dinosaur Hunter isn't fighting against, oh my gosh. And the platforms are near invisible on my map. Uh, it's not fighting dinosaurs with cannons. It's tiny, tiny platforms. All right. There we go. Whew. I can start breathing again. Maybe. I still have to make this jump, so... Which, in theory, should be easier than the previous jump that I screwed up a whole bunch of times. But I think, like, that orange ledge there is a little bit deceiving. Hmm. Actually, hold on. I see some bullets. Bullets. 
And some rockets. And once again, yeah, it's it's very odd that every individual rocket gives you four quad rockets. Ah, uh, son of a... You dirty... At least I have the tech armor. Ooh. But this isn't the one I wanted to go to, so that's fine. Ah. But I don't think I actually need the, uh, uh, the, what's it called? Ooh, hold on. Spiritual invincibility. I don't think I actually need the, uh, Ultra health now. <laughs> okay, that is awesome. Huh. Where am I supposed to go here? Yeah, this seemed like the only path, but... I didn't realize that, uh... Not only putting things in slow motion... Uh, allowed you to fire multiple shots in succession. Um, but then you also saw them... Oh, hold on. Alright, let's grab these grenades because I used a bunch. Yeah, definitely. that definitely seems like the best way to deal with a lot of enemies these days, is just hit them with a whole bunch of rockets. Um, I'm really surprised I made that jump. There we go. Okay. So now I still have that, um, what's it called? Uh, qua Ultra Health. Uh, back in the bonus area, which is going to be the next bonus area I would go to if I so choose. Um, but I also have the Ultra Health that I just picked up just now. Which, considering the fact that I'm still able to pick up bonus health, means I suppose I wasn't really that close to... Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. That's something I've, I haven't really uh, taken advantage of, and I... Oh my gosh, nope. Um, and I haven't really spent too much time paying attention to, but I guess your character, like, um, if you start to run off of a platform, like, that still counts as, like, when you're jumping off. But where am I supposed to go? I'm just going to get to the other side here. I suppose... I still need to have decent aim.
Huh. Or maybe these guys are just really tough. There we go. Uh. There we go. Excellent. And you. And you. Oh. Um, a lot of lift access. <sighs> yeah, the, the last few levels of this game get very, very linear, but at the very least, um, there's definitely a lot more spectacle involved. So, I still have health to pick up, which... Hmm. Left or right? Left or... Let's go left first. Uh, left seems like... The main route. Let's see where right goes. But I also have to be fast enough... So that, um... Oh. Is this an elevator? Is this the right way? I also have to be fast enough to deal with the fact that, um, oh, a save point, uh, with the fact that people do respawn. All right, let's use this save point first. Um, and see if this is the way forward. I think those are just grenades there. <laughs> are they getting stuck there? Well, he didn't get stuck. What are you? What on earth are you? Does this does this game still have new enemies to throw at me? Like, I'm all the way at level 8. Uh, those are just grenades, so... And I'm already full on grenades, so... Okay, that did not go well. I'm probably going to be able to come... Never mind, I'm not going to be able to come back. Okay, um, I'm going to stick around, wait for that portal to reappear, grab the ultra health, um, come back, and... carry on. Uh, so I'm just gonna skip, uh, until... Oh, never mind, I don't even have to skip. And luckily, this game is very consistent. Ah, quad rocket launcher. In regards to, um... How it deals out, uh, bonus stages. Ooh, shockwave, what? okay, so that was just more energy. And there we have it, the Ultra Health. Hopefully I do not waste it, but that's, that's it. But 
Oh no, it's a mud crab. Ooh, hold on. Some armor is always useful in these dark, dark times. Oh, explosive shells. Excellent. And uh, this is where I fall. <sighs> Might as well... Oh, an ultra health. Damn it. I wasted that ultra health for nothing. Huh. Question. Where does this go? And I notice there's tech armor there and there. Do I get greedy and just grab the tech armor? Is there anything stopping me for just hoarding more tech armor? You know, I guess this place isn't really that linear after all. This place is quite the maze. What are those noises? Oh, those are the mud crabs. So if I wanted to try to grab those weapons, I would also be under attack by those snapping claws of the mud crab people. Anything here? Nope, just grenades. Uh, that's just the way up. Hmm. I don't remember there being alternate paths. But it has only been a couple seconds, so... It could have... Ar and I am secretly a goldfish. So, um... I might have just missed them. Or maybe I can drop down a little bit further. Or no, wait. There was this path over here that I did not fully explore because I was just like... Why are there so many paths. Did that actually get him? <laughs> I think it did. Excellent. Ah, uh, okay. So this is an alternate path into the... This was the alternate path there. So now this will take me back to, uh, pro- no. That did not take me back to progress. This will take me back to progress. I think. Ah, uh, yeah. Here is the save game. I'm gonna save over there. Uh, let's bring out the rockets. There we go. And yeah, like you get tons of rockets back. So as long as there's like, as you can fire like four rocket salvos and then just get all your rockets back immediately. Ah, lift access. Have I been looking for lift access all this time? Is this where I came from? I think I've ruined this. Yeah, this is where I came from. And then I could have gone there, but there's this path, which, ah, uh, no, I screwed it up. Because, oh my gosh. 
This is the path I should have gone towards, I think. Maybe. Which... Because this leads me back to the drop, I think. Yes, this is important. I need to be back on the drop point. Um, and then hit this teleporter. And then hit this checkpoint. Ah, you couldn't get me twice, video game. Ah, son of a... go. This is a safe spot. There we go. There goes one of them. And there goes the other. Excellent. Ha. <sighs> Although I, w I should have probably expected the final level of Turok to be more an endurance test than anything else. I, I was hoping it was just going to be enter level, fight bad guy. And that was it. But I was clearly mistaken. Ultra health. Oh my gosh. You son of a. Like, if I actually needed that ultra health, I would be pissed. Luckily, I do not need it. Okay. Robots. Let's take this guy out. There we go. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to have to do something in regards to these. I, it's interesting that all these gameplay elements are just being shoehorned in at the last minute. Like we've got puzzle elements showing up for some reason. Involving raising elevators and lowering. Let's grab whatever this is. A fusion frenzy. Which I still haven't fired once yet. And that's that weapon way down there. So I've got three shots with it, which I'm saving for the campaigner. Hopefully I'm able to land one of those shots. And we've got a save game. Excellent spot for it. And what's next? Oh, wall lasers, of course. Really, really, oddly... Like, there hasn't been any wall lasers before this point. And now the game's like... Hey, how about some wall lasers? Oh, hello. Okay, there are three doors. I came in through this one. Let's see what's on this side. Ooh, some tech arrows, which I'm already full on. I'm gonna go through the door on the right uh, first because, nope, that's not a dead end. Hmm, that is also not a dead end.
And I think that's the quad rocket. Is that a full health? That's just a full health. That's not an ultra health. Yeah, going after the... Um... Uh, the extra armor was definitely worth it. There we go. Actually, hold on. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? Ooh, more armor. And I don't actually need anything from any of the bonus areas at this point. Um, I've already cleaned them out. So, I might as well just carry on running through these circular hallways until I find the inevitable exit. I haven't... I don't think I've used any minigun ammo. Yeah, that wasn't exactly that smart. Uh, charging through that laser barrier, using up a little, a pretty decent chunk. A pretty decent chunk of my shields. I don't think there's anybody in anything important back here. Except for this guy and some health. Which I'm already full up, so. Ah, there was another duck, uh, another laser guy over here. Ready to peel away more layers of my precious, precious tech armor. Yeah, this is a war of attrition at this point. Especially when you consider uh, the fact that you can't just save wherever you want. What direction am I? There we go. Aha. And a lot of rockets. Any more laser guys? I don't think there are any more. Just this regular dude. Minding his own business. He's got his regular problems. That's okay, too. Not everybody's gonna have Chrono Scepter problems. Ah, I got impatient. There we go. What on earth am I looking at? There we go. Took care of him. And him. I'm getting hit by... St oh. I was going to say, I'm getting hit by something, but I don't exactly see what's hitting me. Yeah, what's unfortunate is I might actually start running out of explosive shells. Oh, hello. There we go. Is that it? Yep, that's it for that guy. Huh.
Why aren't you dead? What about you? Ooh. And now more armor, which is always useful. More explosive shells. Oh, is this just another entrance? Okay, so I could have probably picked a higher entrance and entered in this way as opposed to taking that lower entrance. How rude of uh, you for respawning. Alright, now what have we got up here? Huh. That's a whole bunch of nothing. Or more aptly, I could jump to this platform there, and now I can pick up whatever this is. Which I'm already full on. So, I guess I just have to head back to that elevator room, or that lift room, or whatever it is. Ignoring everybody in my path, because at this point, it's very rude of this guy for chasing me. Ah, nope, back down. And we have a checkpoint. At long last. Um, not as nice as, say, having a save game, but... Better than nothing. Yeah. Alright, we got another laser guy. Alright. What is going on here? Nope, you're just a regular guy. Um, we got a door. Actually... Okay, so two shots of that takes out regular guy. You know, I don't really need to be uh, worried about how wasteful I am with these shots. Because... Oh wait, hold on. That is a lot of explosive shells. And I think that's an ultra health in the center. So I'm just gonna grab it because I'm probably not going to be back here and I can't actually pick it up. So let's carry on. Did I? Okay. There we go. And I guess we're going in here. Ooh, another checkpoint. In theory, I'm getting slightly co closer. But, yeah, this definitely is a very big level. There we go. And you, oh. The bodies are just stacking up at the entrance. 
Oh. Looks like you've got stuff for me to pick up. Um, and... Hmm. I've got lift. Lift. Hole in the ground. Oh, the, the hole in the ground has spikes. Do not jump into the hole in the ground. Always look into a hole in the ground before you leap into it. Is probably a... Oh my gosh. Is probably a wise decision. And I'm almost out of my tech armor. And what is that ammo for? Um, I will go down guns a blazing. Oh, nope. I will not go down guns anything. There we go. I held on to my one point of... My one point of tech armor. Oh? Ah, interesting. This is, I suppose, how I know I'm closer to the campaigner. Due to seeing the tortured bodies of my allies strung up as trophies. No save point? Just a T-Rex. Um, alright. What does this do? That was a pretty decent chunk of health. Alright, now let's use... some of these. Ooh! And actually that was a smart decision because... It looks as though the explosive shells are in the area. Whereas the other weapon types are not. So I'm just gonna run over here, grab some explosive shells. Run over here, grab some more explosive shells. And I think this boss might actually be relatively simple. Oh, that goes like nearly 100 health in one tail whip. There we go. The T-Rex is T-Rekt. Ugh. Um, Turok. Although that is not the final confrontation. Oh. Ah, that was a Chrono Scepter piece. It's too bad I do not have... ...all of them. Huh. Alright, let's save our game. And hopefully, immediately after going through this hallway... Interesting. Is this if I die? Is is are, are these things here for me if I if I had died? All right. What do I want to unload on him first? Probably that. No, Jim. Tony, what did they do to you? Well, I can see they hung you upside down. Jim, also, the tribe wasn't very good at making names.
Ah. It's the campaigner. I think. Well, who else would he be? Huh. All right, so at the very least... I think this is fairly possible. Also, hold on. Are those explosive shells? I think they are. Oh my... And he is constantly spinning me around, sir. That is not very nice. Where are you right now, anyway? Uh... Yeah, these explo- oh my gosh. These explosive shells are definitely very useful. Um, and they're regenerating? Oh my gosh. Okay, I should use stronger ammo. Like these minigun uh, bullets. And maybe these rocket launcher sh uh, rockets. Where did you go? Um, huh. Weird. Is that it? Did I win? Amazing! That was... That was Turok Dinosaur Hunter. Okay, maybe I should uh, wait for the boss to, to die before announcing, yay, I've completed the game. And that I am Turok. Oh, hello. Also, uh, is he... Is he dodging explosions, or is that some sort of interpretive dance? Oh, that, that's it. That's, uh, <laughs> that is a really hard cut to credits. Um, but I suppose, what am I expecting from a game uh, that doesn't even bother telling you who you're fighting in the game? That, uh, whose character's only line is, uh, uh, And I am Turok. Well, that was Turok 1. Um... That was fun. Uh, I'm glad to finally, after all these years, ha have finished the game. Um, I didn't get all the Chrono Scepter pieces. I'm fine with that. I can live with myself somehow. Um, maybe one day. I say that now, but it's probably not going to happen. But yeah, uh, I don't know how well this game holds up, but I'll... I have to admit, I found myself thinking about um, about how Halo kind of affected the video game market. Um, and I'm not saying Halo is a bad game. I'm saying that Halo had a very specific impact. And you look at games pre-Halo, and you look at games post-Halo, uh, like you look at a game like Turok that focuses more on like just shooting monsters and not just that, but having so many weapons. 
Like, you've got like 14 guns by the end of this game. And then I'm like, I just recently played like the Modern Warfare games. And those games are more built around like the weapons as events. So it's fun to kind of go back to this kind of classic uh, game. I don't, the, the only, okay, I don't really like the fact that enemies respawn. Um, it kind of forces you to always be running, uh, rather than exp and and it, and it kind of discourages me from. Well, I say me specifically because that it discourages me from wanting to explore levels, because I know enemies are probably going to be respawning. Um, I like I kind of look at my ammo and my weapons as kind of a uh, limited supplies at the very least with the first four or so levels. Because, like, you're still kind of limited by your armaments in the beginning. Then you finally get the, the grenade launcher and the minigun and the energy gun and everything that just kind of opens up. But towards the beginning, like, like the, your, ammo, your weapon choices open up. But now you've still got the respawning enemies and now it's the bigger enemies that are respawning. So once again, it's kind of like, it feels like a... A detriment towards wanting to explore these areas. Um, it also takes a like this game kind of falls into the same trap as uh, Doom Three. Doom Three took too long to get to hell. That was probably its biggest flaw. Um, it wasn't that it, uh, like I enjoyed Doom Three. I think it's great, um, but it takes so long to get to hell. Like, you go through the Alpha Labs, you go through, like, four levels of the Alpha Labs, you go through Communications, then you go through, like, four levels of Delta Labs before it even, like, teases you. And I think that's an issue with Turok as well, is you've just got, like, so much jungle before you get to the technology parts uh, way at the end. And if you have, like, hints of it at the beginning, maybe, like, structures in the middle, like, it would make it stand out, be a little bit more interesting. Or at the very least, if each world you were exploring was had more variation. Um, but otherwise, I would still say that Turok 1 is a solid shooter. Would I recommend it to anybody to play? Who would I recommend it to these days? Probably somebody who wants to play, like, a... Like a classic shooter, like with a more arcade feel. Like they don't want to be play the, the more simulation style. Um, like this is a very good remaster of it. So like I, for this game, I don't really see much of a point in digging out the N64. Uh, because you've got the HD graphics, you've got the higher frames per second. Might as well just play the Night Sky remaster. Or Night Sky, Night Dive remaster. Which is a fantastic very, uh, version of the game. Um, in the meantime, though, got any suggestions for myself to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.